Hey guys, welcome to Unfold Data Science. My name is Aman and I am a data scientist. In this video, I am going to talk about five frequently asked questions on logistic regression. So these are favorite interview questions for many interviewers. I am going to take all these one by one and answer it. Okay. What is the first one guys? Can logistic regression be used for multi-class classification problems? Now what is a multi-class classification problem? If I have more than two different categories in my target variable right so can logistic regression be used for that the simple answer is yes it can be used but the problem is it's not very simple to implement right either i have to do one versus all implementation or i have to do multinomial implementation in both these cases the learning ability of the model is going to come down so if we are talking of logistic regression then we are talking of mathematical model right we want to make models life easy not difficult we want to make models life simple not complicated and hence if we take both these approaches right models life is going to be complicated not easy so rather i will go for ensemble models or bagging boosting or neural networks this can be done but it's not advised to do okay so that is why interviewer ask you this question they want to understand your way of thinking okay what is the second question how logistic regression works this is a very very good question to check if somebody understands the basics of uh, ma um, mathematics behind any machine learning algorithm right so how logistic regression works it is basically a algorithm that is used to solve a classification problem right so in classification problem we cannot use a normal linear regression the reason for that is my y cannot be any real number so if it's a linear regression problem or a regression problem my y in y is equal to mx plus c can be any real number here it can be only 0 or 1 or whatever the class values right so we are not predicting y directly rather we are predicting the probabilities and we are not predicting the probabilities directly rather we are predicting it through a sigmoid function in the sigmoid function we are using something known as a logit function and odds okay so it's basically a series of transformations we do not predict y we predict probabilities for predicting probabilities we use logit function and odds ratio so that is how logistic regression works in comparison to linear regression what is the third question how logistic regression is different from linear regression very simple logistic regression is used to solve a classification problem linear regression for a regression problem in logistic regression the meaning of coefficients will change for example in linear regression if i ask you in y is equal to mx plus c right what is the meaning of your m so you will tell me for every unit shift in x y shifts by m units keeping all other variable constant right this is the explanation of m in a linear regression but what happens in case of logistic regression the explanation of coefficients will change you cannot say like for every unit shift in x y will shift by m units no it has to be for every unit shift in x the odds in favor of y will change by e to the power m units so this is a simplified version of how it can be okay so the the meaning of the coefficients will change and the interpretation of coefficients will change and the objective function or the loss function will also change so that is the difference between linear regression and logistic regression what is the next one when logistic regression is used it's very very interesting question actually um, there are many scenarios where logistic regression can be used number one if you want a mathematical model for sure if you are not comfortable with black box models or high end models or you know model where you don't have lot of interpretation if you want mathematical models then you go for logistic regression sometimes stakeholders or businesses will have their own say their own choices saying you have to use logistic regression then you use logistic regression second scenario if underlying data assumptions is making sense so logistic regression will make lot of assumptions right if those assumptions are making sense for your data then you go for logistic regression number three if you want a more interpretation of the model you don't care much about the prediction power you want more of the interpretation of the model then you go for logistic regression next 
you do not have very high infra to run the neural networks or you do not have very high infra to run the um, other models for example support vectors or for example other kind of models right then probably you will go for a simple but effective model called logistic regression what is the next one why logistic regression is called regression so as i have explained till now logistic regression is also internally a regression however the regression is between on one side it is not directly y in the equation y is equal to mx plus c we do regression on different thing we use a sigmoid function internally and we do a probability regression here so that equation is log of p by 1 minus p is equal to mx plus c right so that is your regression equation here which is different from y is equal to mx plus c so that is how logistic regression is different and this is basically a regression just that y is directly not estimated something else is estimated hence we call it as regression though it is a logistic regression okay in the end i want to give you one one question that i want you to answer guys do you know what is the difference between multi-level classification and multi-class classification this is my favorite interview question actually multi-level versus multi-class you have to tell me an answer okay in the comment and i will give you the answer once i feel once i get few comments okay so give me a thumbs up guys if you like this video uh, let me know if you want me to create similar content on interview questions i will see you all in the next video guys wherever you are stay safe and take